Um, so we are here with Omar. He is a teenager who was playing soccer, and all of a sudden he was playing soccer, and he, something happened to his hip. It just kind of popped, and they told him they took him. He could no longer move. He fell. Ambulance came. Was taken to ER. Next thing he knew, they told him that his hip had broken, and so he hasn't been able to actually walk for the last two weeks. Uh, doctor said that he could start moving after four or five weeks, but his dad said, son, in two weeks you're going to be healed. And so, uh, in unbelief and frustration because of what happened and because he loves soccer, he came here and he was wearing his crutches. And so, Brian prayed for him as he saw him limping. And, go ahead. As I was being prayed for you, what, what happened? You began to feel this shaking, right? So I was, I was during worship and I was just shaking and like just this light was just trembling. And so I come up and then he starts praying for me and like just this peace came. And then this just like power, this crazy power came into my life. And I just stood up and I just felt the strength and I started walking. And you haven't been able to walk without these. You've been bedridden is what you said. I've been on bed rest. I have been been laying down for the past two weeks, barely moving. And what would happen when you'd move? You told me if you when, even moved a little when bit. When I even moved like like this or anything, like it would just be excruciating pain. And right now it's just I wasn't able to stand two hours ago. And man, wow. now show us what you can do. Walk, walk around. Show us what you can do. What's the level of your pain now? Zero. Zero level of pain. So you couldn't do that. Before you came into this room, two weeks, because you broke your hip, and Jesus healed you. That's amazing. So Jesus is still healing. We've seen the, in the meetings this week, we've seen the deaf here. We've seen cripples walk. We've seen chronic pain and disease go, because Jesus is still healing today. We and saw so, over 100 people being healed. And Amara just wanted to share that he felt like God was reconstructing his hip and his heart.